Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a high-end makeup haul. So I have a bunch of products here that I have received in PR and I'm super excited for them because they look so luxurious and I've tried a couple out already and I'm really, really loving them. But anyway, let's just get started and I'll show you everything that I do have. So the first thing I want to start off with is a new perfume and this is a new perfume from YSL and it is the Mon Paris perfume. So this is what it looks like here. So it comes in a really nice um, black and pink packaging um, and it says Mon Paris. So I'm going to open this up. Um, so when I first opened this I noticed that in the, the top bit there is like a little gold tab on it there like that which I think is so nice. Um, adds a little bit more detail to the packaging. This is what the bottle looks like here and it's just absolutely stunning like this total cut out diamond effect bottle like at the top here that's kind of cut out kind of effect here like yeah it's really really nice so that's what it looks like there it's just absolutely stunning and um, it's a really gorgeous bottle for sitting on like a vanity it's just quite sophisticated and elegant this perfume is absolutely gorgeous it has like scents of peony in it it has white musk and also has patchouli so yeah it's absolutely gorgeous it's like kind of florally as well as kind of fruit and sweet as well and it just lingers for such a long time on the, uh, the skin and I wore this um, at New Year's and yep, I just absolutely love it it's just so kind of florally and fresh and yep, really obsessed with this so this bottle is a 90ml and this 90ml bottle is I'm sure it's like nearly £90 but I will list it in the description box for you this is the biggest size that the YSL bottles do come in like 90ml is kind of normally average for kind of quite high end and luxurious Perfumes, yeah. Okay, so the next thing I got from John Lewis is another product from YSL, and this is one of their new Rouge Volupt Shine lipsticks. So, I have wanted YSL lipsticks for such a long time. They just look so beautiful, like they, they look so sophisticated and look stunning. I've seen many, many bloggers with them on their like dressers and vanity and stuff like that, and I've just been so jealous of them. And um, so now I have finally gotten one which I so so excited for like seriously I'm dying over this lipstick it is gorgeous this is in the shade number nine which is nude and private so John Lewis actually allowed me to pick out all the kind of PR bits that I wanted and I picked this shade because I know nude shades is like I'm going to wear them a lot more than kind of darker bolder colours um so this shade here is nude and private as I said and this is what it looks like here so up close so that's what it looks like there. It does look a lot darker on the stick than it actually does look um, on the lips. It's a lot lighter and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's just perfect for every single day. It's so glossy and it's so creamy and hydrating on the lips. It's just incredible. So I also wore this lipstick on New Year's Eve and yeah, it's just so comfortable to wear. And I do have a blog post on my whole New Year's Eve makeup look. So I'll insert a little picture here, like of one of the photographs I've taken, um, so you can see. But I'll list my blog post down below in the description box. I would love for you to check it out because I do use a lot of these products on my face for that makeup look. So yeah. Okay, so the next YSL goodie that I got from John Lewis is this set here. And this is a little gift set which has a bunch of makeup products inside. This is what comes inside that box. It is a makeup bag and it's got a few of their kind of more popular and famous products from YSL inside it. So it's a black glossy makeup bag and it also has a gold zip here with the YSL logo on the little um, zipper. So one of the products you get in the bag is this mascara here and this is their Volume Effect Full Cells Mascara and this is in the shade number one which I'm sure is um, noir so it's just like black noir and um, so this is what it looks like here it comes in this metallic -y gold tube which I think is absolutely stunning it's just so luxurious so I have it on my lashes today so hopefully you can see um, my lashes are quite um, long and spidery I just love how much volume and length they've given it's given my lashes yeah my low lashes look great as well and the top ones just incredible so the other product you get inside the bag is this concealer here and it is the Too Chiclat concealer so this I've been dying to try for such a long time because it's really famous from YSL and everybody goes on about it and most people compare a lot of concealers to this concealer um, a lot of drugstore concealers so yeah I have been dying to try this and this is what it looks like here again comes in this nice um, metallic -y gold packaging and this I have used as well I used this for my New Year's Eve makeup look 
and yep it was really really nice but it has like more of a pinky undertone to it so it does kind of correct any greyness under your eyes which is good and um, so this is what it looks like here it's like a little pen and you click the end of it and then the product comes out here and you just sort of like brush that on and then you obviously blend it in this concealer is really nice it does last a good while on the under eye area because I normally put like concealers on my under eye area I don't conceal too much like everywhere else on my face definitely under my eyes yeah it's a nice little concealer so the other thing you get inside the bag is this little eyeliner here um, so this little eyeliner pencil is waterproof and what is this actually called this is called there's the waterproof eyeliner and it's in the shade number one okay so I have used this as well and I was so surprised at how um, jet black it was and how easy it was to run along my lower like my waterline it was so kind of easy and so smooth because it is that kind of coal I don't know what you can see there because it is that kind of coal um, formula it just goes on lovely to your waterline so yeah you also get that in there and it's a slightly smaller size I think than the normal one and then the other thing you get inside the bag is just a little sample size of their top secrets instant moisture glow and this is just like a five mil kind of product so that's what it looks like there okay guys so I just checked the John Lewis website there and I don't think this set like this gift set here with the products inside the bag is actually available anymore I think it was just a Christmas um, exclusive kind of product but the mascara and the Tusha Clark concealer are available in John Lewis like separately anyway so I will list them down below in the description box for you um, just in case I don't think this is available anymore so yeah I will list them definitely individually for you down below okay so next thing I got is this here which is the Benefit Hula brush now this is a bronzing and contouring brush and this I have wanted for such a long time since the new Benefit Hula range came out. So this is what the brush looks like here. It is like a nice metallic gold brush in this bamboo sort of style. It looks like a bamboo shoot sort of thing. Um, and yeah, the brush head in it is so soft and it's actually tinted with um, a greeny aqua look um, like that. There's a little close up for you. So this brush I've actually used a few times already as well and I use this for bronzing and contouring slightly because what you can do is with this is because it has this kind of like longer flatter side, not flatter side but it kind of goes up along the side, it's really easy for getting in and kind of contouring your hollows and then the kind of more puffier end here is good for bronzing like just putting some bronzer on there and just sort of like bronzing up the cheeks that way. Um, again you can use this for blush as well. But yeah, I really do love it for bronzing and contouring and I've actually just washed it there with my um, little um, Freedom brush cleaner and yep, the bristles go back really really nicely so that's why it's nice and clean um, but yeah, it's really lovely and I do recommend it for like a higher end brush, it's not too pricey in a sense it's like 17 50 I believe but that's not too pricey because some of the Morphe brushes now are like nearly 20 quid like the kind of powder brushes or the bronzing brushes so yeah that brush is real lovely it's so soft and just look how beautiful it is and it has like the little benefit logo on the bottom there in case you've never seen it there so it has a benefit logo there and it is flat so it's really easy to just place down on like your vanity or your dress or anything like that it's not like a brush that you can't sort of set up so yeah it sits up and you can use it for decor so yeah really really love this brush so the next thing i got is this Guerlain bronzing powder and this is their terracotta bronzer and yeah I've been wanting this for such a long time because it just looks really stunning like it looks really kind of rich and yeah I just think it looks incredible so this is what the packaging looks like here so that's what it looks like there and as you can see it has like this sort of antique sort of it's just the Guerlain sign like the logo in it but it looks like this kind of antique marble that's what I really like about Guerlain is they look kind of quite um antique in a marble sense I don't know how to really explain that but their bronzers look really really nice and around here it says terracotta if you can see that and then down here it says Guerlain so this is what the bronzer looks like inside um, it does have a big mirror on it as well but that's what the bronzer looks like there and this bronzer does have a little bit of kind of um, shimmery particles in it but when you apply it to your cheeks you don't really see that too much well on my cheeks 
I don't really see too much of the shimmer particles which is good because as I mentioned matte bronzers are just my um, favourite but yeah even though it has like little bits of shimmer in there it doesn't look too shimmery on the cheeks so yeah I've been wanting this bronzer for such a long time because I've heard lots and lots of people talking about it saying how great it is um, now this is like a really expensive bronzer at like £37 I'm sure it is but you don't really need that much of it because it's really pigmented like, like just tip your brush in it and then apply it to your cheeks and it really goes a long way it's so lovely okay so there's two other things I want to speak to you about quickly and they are two brushes so if you watched my Christmas gift guide for her video then you would have seen these two products um, in that video but yeah some of you might have not watched that video so I just want to show you them again and yeah this is in here and these are from blank canvases brushes and these are part of their new dimension series and I have the brush F08 and F20 this is the brush F08 and this is their dome buffing brush so this I have used many many times as you can see dirty on the top there and these type of dome brushes are my favorite kind of brushes to use when applying a foundation i just think it's like a lot easier to sort of like buff the foundation in that's what it looks like up close for you so yeah really obsessed with this and i highly highly recommend this brush the other one i have is the f20 and this is their flat buffer now this type of brush I really like using for dusting away any fallout or any translucent powder that I've got in my face from when I've set my concealer in place. I like to use this type of brush for that because it's not as dense or as tightly packed as like the other dome buffing brush so this one as you can see is a lot more kind of dense and a lot more compact and this one like is a lot kind of looser and yeah it's a lot finer as well so it's really easy to dust away any powder or any fallout without smearing it all over your foundation. That's what the F20 looks like and I really love the detail in this with the blank canvas engraved there and also on the handle there and it has the name and number of the brush there. So as I said these two brushes are from the new blank canvas dimension series but I've wanted to add them in here even though they aren't too high end they are like under 14 pounds each but I just want to throw them in there because they look quite expensive and um, they are quite um, thick and quite heavy as well so they do feel it more like a kind of high end brush definitely give these a, um, a shot if you can because yeah they're incredible especially this dome one is perfect for applying a uh, foundation and really getting in and buffing that uh, foundation into the skin okay guys that rounds up all my high-end makeup products in this video let me know in the comments if you would like to see any kind of review of any of these products because I do have a few reviews of these products already over my blog which I'll link below in the description box for you but if you want to see a kind of video tutorial and review of it then let me know and I'll try and get one up on my channel for you. I really hope you have had a lovely start to the year. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and remember to give this video a massive thumbs up. So thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you very soon in my next one. Bye! <laughs>